this is the guide to cam whoring and um, it's kind of cool because uh, in the previous guide to life episodes we've talked about how to curl your hair, how to put sexy like eye makeup and how to photoshop your pictures. So now to complete the whole facade and like lie to people that you are attractive on the internet, here's cam whoring tips. So okay, let's start. Invest in a good camera. Uh, don't ever be a cheap over and buy like a cheap like compact camera because those will take shitty photos of you and you'll regret for life because you're only young ones. Uh, the camera I like using the cam haul is the Panasonic LX3 and I'm not paid to advertise this, advertise this by the way so um, I really like it because it has a soft skin it has a soft skin mode so it's really cool because the soft skin mode will make you have like baby pink like skin and just really like glowy and stuff I love it. How do you know which is your better side? It's very easy, just take many pictures from both sides and compare. And um, it's kind of weird like, because I used to like look better from the left like this. And then now I look better from the right like this because I did my nose. So see, plastic surgery changes things. For example, now I'm going to take a picture of my left and my right side to show you. As you can see, there's kind of like a difference. Definitely the right side is nicer. Always take a picture with your camera, like how high up like this. And so when you take a picture with the tilted head and the elevated angle, it kind of it kind of uh, will get rid of your double chin, and it will make your and it will, it will get rid of your double chin, and it will make your eyes look bigger and your nose look smaller. Okay, so for comparison sake, here is a high angle and a low angle. The high one definitely looks much better. Commonly known mistakes when shooting in this angle, I guess the only problem is that if you go like a little bit too high and you kind of look a bit like a dwarf or a midget. In general, the better angle is to always have to tilt your head down and look out at the camera so your eyes look big like this. And um, unless you are like a supermodel with like really a tight jawline and tiny nose and clean nostrils, you should never do this because that's just uh, I guess some girls like to tilt their heads like sideways. I don't know why. I guess it makes them look like a lost puppy. I think sometimes I do it too. The next more advanced step is to know your poses. So um, if you only have your hands with you, then you need to do certain interesting poses to make sure that you don't look so boring in all the pictures. And there are many many poses like the twist, the very classic. Or if you're bored like this, or the cat one that goes like this. Yeah, or like you can do like a heart. A lot of girls seem to like to use this pose. I don't know why. I think they think that it looks very cute. And it makes your nose small, and your lips small, so they go like... Am I cute? I don't know, I think it's stupid. Mostly for girls about 13 years old. Stop doing that! After years of taking pictures, I've come to realise that I look the best with fringe because it covers ugly eyebrows and it also makes your face look like smaller if you have a very unfortunate ugly forehead la. and it covers the zits there. So that's good. Fringe is good. Be wary of your background. Um, a lot of people have taken pictures in like ugly toilets with like dirty laundry behind them or like a used pet or or like some fat guy bending over, you know, like if your plumber is like, you know, having a butt crack there, don't cam haul there. So yeah, so before you cam haul, always check your background. If not, people might see something that they don't want to see and it'll be all over the internet. Flash or no flash, a lot of people prefer to not use flash because it looks less harsh on you. And um, I just really don't like that look because it looks very yellow and it looks low quality so I like my pictures to be bright so that bright and totally clear and sharp and because I want everybody to see how gorgeous I look after I photoshop myself so in order for them to appreciate that it cannot be blurry yeah so I like my pictures with flash I always take pictures with flash and if you're going to use non-flash photography it's very important to not have your uh, the light source behind you otherwise you'll just be backlit and you look just like a silhouette um, my suggestion for that is to either use flash and if you really want your background to be clear like you are at a beach and there's a sunset behind you or something you should use the something in your camera called second flash or like a sync flash I don't know you have to go and find it yourself lah. it means that like the background will also be lit so that will look nice 
whenever you are in a room or outside, remember to always face the sunlight or where the brightest source is. And um, even if it comes from like, I don't know, something that is kind of embarrassing like a toilet light, you still have to face it and take your pictures there because you will look the best there. Nobody likes like dark, horrible, grainy pictures. Lah. If you are going to be um, taking photos at home, it's advisable to always kind of use a prop, like a stuffed toy or like a flower or something like that so you can interact with it and so you won't look so bored. Uh, you won't look so boring. And I have with me like this stupid puff thing so I can take pictures with it. If people are taking photos of you and your arm is in the picture, do not ever do this. So you get your arms by your body, it will look fucking fat. So always remember to look at it to the side like this. And you push your shoulder to the front so it looks like you're skinny. Always be completely shameless when you are cam whoring. Whether you are in an embarrassing situation where you shouldn't be cam whoring, like, I don't know, like a funeral with like super good sunlight or something, yeah. And you. You probably shouldn't, but just go ahead and do it anyway. Because it's like you only live once, so you should capture the memory. And people should understand that. Always remember to use lip gloss, because lip gloss cannot be photoshopped. Remember that everything else you can photoshop, lip gloss you cannot photoshop. And black roots may also dye your hair. For advanced cam horrors, you can try to take pictures where um, it looks like you are not the person taking the picture, so you look like you're just conveniently looking very chill while a picture is snapped from you from somebody else. It's actually quite easy to stretch your hand as far as possible from over there. Don't look at the camera, do whatever you want and look chill out of course and snap. Then you look like somebody else took your picture and that you're not the shallow, vain, superficial person you are. So I hope you enjoyed your guide to camp whoring and may there be more photos of us being girls all over the internet for everyone to see.